Boys, there was just a new update released for the strongest battlegrounds. And guys, there was a ton of stuff released in this update. So it's pretty easy to miss a couple things that were added. But ladies and gentlemen, today I got you covered once again. Because today I'm going to be telling you about the top 10 things that you missed in the new update in the strongest battlegrounds. I hope you enjoy. So yeah, guys, the first item on our list is one that you actually might have seen. Trust me, not all the items on this list are going to be like this. But yeah, guys, if you come over here, you can actually see that there is a new board right here next to the current champions board. And this is for donations. So you can actually donate Robux. And if you donate a lot, then you can find yourself up here or down here. And uh, guys, if you actually look at this guy right here, Imed, there's something pretty crazy about this. So see this egg that I currently have on my head from the egg hunt? Well, if we actually go to Imed's profile, as you can see right here, Imed is wearing the egg. He's verified, owner of TS Industries, whatever that is. But guys, if you actually see right here in Yielding Arts, he has the upload rank. Let me explain what Imed did to get this rank. And it's not donating Robux or anything. Feel free to skip ahead if you do not care at all. But basically, in short, once you're a UGC creator, you can upload items like accessories and stuff to groups and stuff. So they gave Imed the rank, and Imed is actually the one that uploaded this item to their group. As you can see right here, it's in their store in Yielding Arts, and if we go to the upload rank, as you can see, Imed is right here. But here's where it gets really, really cool. Okay, watch. See, he donated one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. If we now go to the strongest egg, as you can see, there are exactly one, two, three, four, five, six, eight copies. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight right here. Boom. Mind blown. Anyways, you probably don't care. So without further ado, let's go ahead and move on to the second item on our list, ladies and gentlemen, which is also a pretty obvious one. I swear they're not all like this. Okay, it gets better after this. But it's the fact that you can actually participate in egg hunt in the new update. Now, the reason that this one isn't super obvious is because just looking at the game, you can't actually tell that, you know, this game is an egg hunt. You know, if you just looked at it, if you just joined a server and just looked around, chances are you probably wouldn't see anything egg hunt related. But then sometimes NPCs drop from the sky and stuff, blah, blah, blah. Watch my last video if you want to know more about that. But guys, here's the part that most people actually miss. And I've seen countless people complaining about this. Once you get the egg, it's not instantly going to give it like in your inventory. What you got to do is you got to click this hat up here and then click the strongest egg and it'll bring down like a little like pop out thing or something basically you just have to click buy on that and it won't charge your account or anything but you get the item so yeah there you go that's that's how that works for those of you that are wondering and complaining about it okay next up guys this is one that actually a lot of people are missing and even i missed it okay to showcase this i'm gonna have to switch to blade master then i'm just gonna spawn a dummy and i'm literally just going to like do a move watch let me just do quick slice okay check this out watch what's gonna happen uh my internet is going to lag what on earth Earth just happened. But yeah, as you can see, as I did a finisher, uh, my sword is now on fire. It's pretty cool. That's that's pretty much it. That's all it does. And then after a couple seconds, the fire goes away. But before, the fire would only come up whenever you had your ultimate activated. But now it actually happens like if you get a finisher or something. So let me show you one more time. As you can see, the sword catches on fire. And then if you put it in your sheath, then the sheath catches on fire. It's pretty cool. Very Atomic Samurai-esque. Anyways, guys, next up, the fourth item on our list is that we now have five new emotes. Now, feel free to skip past this one if you're not interested, but if you are, check it out. I'm going to go ahead and buy all the new emotes because I'm not about to grind for that. So yeah, guys, the first emote in this update is come here. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, pretty cool. This is the not I'd win emote. So, you know, this one, this one is, is one that we've needed for a long time, bro. And, and, and just real quick, speaking of not I'd win, make sure to buy my not I'd sleep t-shirt. Basically, the owner accidentally fell asleep yesterday and did not set their alarm and slept through the egg hunt. And so the update released like eight hours late. So I made that t-shirt on stream yesterday so make sure to go buy it to remember the day that the owner fell asleep and forgot to upload the update as of the time of recording this video we've sold like 900 of them so we're trying to hit a thousand so make sure to go buy it if you want to up to you anyways guys next up is the bang emote so once again another one that uses fingers for some reason next up this one is called slick back so yeah as you can see it looks pretty cool i guess your hand just stays there yep so you're just gonna be stuck in this pose forever is it 
is it supposed to do that? Oh, okay, so you walk around. Okay, I see, I see. Why does your hand just stay there? Okay, I'm confused. Anyways, and lastly, sneak. So yeah, this one is a traversal emote and it looks pretty cool. That's uh, that's all five emotes from this update. You guys know someone's got to cover them and that someone is going to be me. All right, guys, next up, number five on our list is that there's new badges for the total kills. So we actually saw these get like leaked a couple days ago, but yeah, guys, they got released in this update. So as you can see, if we go on the game page right here, as you can see right here, you can actually see you've got baby steps right here for one total kill, 10 kills, 100 kills, 1000 kills, all the way up to a million kills, which nobody's actually gotten yet. It'll happen one day, I swear. The fact that 118,000 people have over 10,000 kills makes me think that I should be playing the game more often. Also, guys, as of recording this video, there's like hardly any copies left of the strongest egg. So make sure to go get it because as you can see from the new era clash badge, over a million people have now gotten their egg. Anyways, guys, number six on our list is that Wild Psychic actually has ultimate music now. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to play the music in this video because the strongest battlegrounds is, is kind of notorious for or saying that music is copyright free and then creators actually put it in their videos and then we end up getting copyright striked or claimed. Kind, kind of a little bit of a problem with the game. It's mostly just companies like sticking their nose where it doesn't belong and copyright like bleh, I can't talk today. Copyright striking people who they legally cannot copyright strike. But you know what? I don't want to get in a battle there. So I'm just going to leave it. I, if you want, you can go activate Wild Psychic's ultimate and just see for yourself. But yeah, guys, moving on. And this is something Thing that's actually been in the game for quite a while but most people don't know why it is the way that it is if i spawn in a dummy you'll notice the dummy is wearing all black yo wait what sorry have you uh, wh what dude if you play in first person you get little fists above your character i feel like i'm like a little baby or like a toddler like charging around the map about to punch people with my little baby fists yeah come here buddy come here yeah you want some you want some i don't think it's supposed to be doing that <laughs> i'll let the owner know about it but yeah guys basically the reason that the dummy is dressed like this is because akira toriyama the japanese manga artist known for the part that he played in Dragon Ball in the creation of that show, unfortunately passed away on March 1st. And so this dummy is to tribute for him. So yeah, can I get a rip the goat in the comments down below? That's what everyone's been saying recently. And uh, shout out to the strongest battlegrounds for, for respecting him like that. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and move on to the next part of this video, which is number eight. And that is that Stone Coffin now has a new finisher. And this is a really cool finisher. Hang on, let me show you. So for this, I got to switch to Wild Psychic, of course. And let's spawn in a dummy so I can show you guys Stone Coffin's finisher finisher okay look at this boom stone coffin this is so cool so as you can see it raises them into the air and then it destroys the rock really cool finisher i feel like the finishers of the strongest battlegrounds just keep getting cooler but guys that is not nearly as cool as the next finisher okay here let me show you this one one more time and then i'm going to show you the expulsive push finisher okay because this finisher is, is the craziest finisher I think I've seen in the entire game. It's probably my favorite finisher that we've ever seen, okay? Look at this, guys. Okay, explosive push. Oh, I, I missed. Okay, hang on. Explosive push here. Nope, nope. There we go. There we go. Boom. As you can see, guys, this finisher is actually crazy, dude. Look at that. It snipes them across the map, dude. Because, like, you know, you've got normal punch. You've got, like, uppercut and stuff. Like, those moves will send the opponent flying. But this move, ladies and gentlemen, this move sends your opponent flying in style. It's like a mix of the Hunter's Grasp finisher and then, like, probably like a metal bat finisher like the the home run finisher and then like a mix of you know you've got like some uppercut normal punch action in there actually launching the opponent away it's super cool the the finishers in this game definitely just keep getting cooler and i am just a huge fan of how this one looks i love how it just snipes the opponent away that's so sick but yeah guys without further ado the 10th thing that you've missed potentially is that you're not subscribed to my channel Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Nah, but seriously though, sometimes YouTube just like unsubscribes people for no reason. So even if you think you're subscribed, make sure to check down below and just make sure that you are subscribed. Or not, I mean, up to you. But we are trying to make it to 250k subscribers where I've got some crazy stuff planned. And this is actually my first time announcing this in a video. But at 250k subscribers, I'm actually going to go on stream and turn my camera on. So make sure not to miss it. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think of all of this in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Peace.